Hey guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on Miss Mini. Today, I am going to take my attention to the carburetor. Now, this carburetor is uh, the one that came off the car. Um, and it always had an issue, this car, with poor running. And I think I've quite easily identified the reason why. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so here we have the carburetor. I think it's a... Um... Right, so here we have the SU carburetor. Now, um, pretty straightforward. You've got a butterfly to control your throttle. So your throttle cable linkage goes onto here, which goes with your pedal. You've got your attachment for your choke mechanism. Uh, on the back, the air filter goes in, or the, the air goes in from the filter. You've got your fuel in and an overflow out. Uh, in here you have oil. Um, and then the bit that I found the issue with is with regards to the um, wax stat at the bottom, effectively. Now, this should be where your needle goes, straight up and down. But if you could look at this one, there's a bit of a bend on there. Um, doesn't sit right. So in theory, there's a big issue surrounding this. Thankfully, I have a replacement part for that. So this is the piece that I have, which is going to replace that. Uh, this is your uh, wax stat jet assembly. Um, so it's going to go screwed into the float ball on the side and then into the top which hopefully will mean the needle will go straight down as well i'm going to strip it apart a little bit so we can clean some bits up and hopefully rectify this or replace this which will then be a nice simple fix which means the car breather will run much better bringing the car runs better and the enjoyment of driving overall is increased <laughs> Right, so I've had this uh, so I'm taking the bottom out and uh, actually I found a second fault which I don't know if you can see that clearly on there but just here there's actually a hole in the carburetor so uh, I need to check in a couple of others to make sure Firstly, should that be there? I don't think it should. If it shouldn't, effectively, this unit here is um, it's a scrap, really. So, so back in the box for this carburetor, um, I need to go and strip down another one to check and see whether that's correct. I don't think it is. I don't think I've ever seen a carburetor with a hole in the bottom of it. Um, and if it is correct, then unfortunately that one there is scrap and I need to find another unit. I do have a box full of carburetors in the store, so um, it's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit frustrating. We got this far and uh, found this, but better it being found now than when it's on the car. Let's get another one and see what's what. <laughs> Okay, good news. This is my spare carburetor, now with a damaged dash pot. <clears throat> and probably a bent needle. Uh, but good news is that there is a hole on the bottom of this as well. So, based on that, I would suggest that this is actually correct. Uh, maybe it's an overflow or something, but yeah, there's a hole there. So I'm happy that that isn't uh, an anomaly. Now, if it is, then this one's incorrect as well. So, hmm. anyway, I'll take that. Uh, right. Hey, who hasn't got a spare carburetor recovered? I'll put this back. Uh, 
and let's keep on cleaning. Okay, so the carburetor is now stripped. Uh, I've cleaned up most of it. I'm gonna take this to work and use the uh, parts wash and just try and get the last bits and pieces that I can't really get. A bit more stubborn, uh, hard to reach areas. Um, split this apart, and that's the last thing I need to do, get this gasket out. Um, but you can see all the black that's still on there, just needs to come off and just give it a bit more of a shine. So that's that bit. I've got the bottom section of the, um, the needle jet so this goes like so um, no it doesn't it goes like that so this bit here screws up into the carburetor this is where your needle goes and your jet uh, which I'll show you in a second and then your spring goes in here and this is your adjuster for more or less fueling now this is part of my issue. Look at the new package. So, a couple of issues with regards to this. Firstly, it has an O-ring on the end, which is completely chewed. Now, it's probably because where it's been sat for a while and it's got the fuel and stuff that's chewing into it, but that isn't great. It's not gonna cause a great seal. It was in there pretty tight, so I'm not overly bothered. The biggest concern is with regards to the angle here. Now, if I compare this one to the new one, <laughs> if I can get the lid off. There you go. So you can see the difference between the first one and the second one. Um, I think what's happened potentially is that the engine steady's had a bit of play, rocking the carburetor. The carburetor hit on the back of the bulkhead and kinked that over. Uh, so obviously everything's getting replaced new, so hopefully this won't happen again. And we have the new unit here, which is gonna obviously last significantly longer. That's the hope. Let's put this into my little pot of goodies. I'm gonna go back onto the carbohydrate. I'm also gonna need a new gasket, which I think I've got some spares. If not, they're pretty available and readily, readily easily to, uh, to replace. Right, that's kind of where I am up to. I need to go and clean these bits. And oh, I need to strip that, but once these are cleaned, then they can be reassembled and put onto the vehicle. Cool. Right, so I'm gonna leave this currently here. I'm gonna come back in a bit once these are cleaned. And um, obviously you've seen the seen the before, and then in a minute you're going to see the after, and we can start reassembling and get this all built up. So, three, two, one. Right, back in the garage. I managed to take this stuff to work, clean it in the parts wash, and uh, give it a quick polish. And things are looking much better. So, carburetor is looking clean. All the components are clean. Uh, the brass adjusting screw on the bottom. It's all cleaned and polished. So, come on. That was all cleaned and polished, as was the head, which means I can then put the spring back on. So that can now be installed back into the bottom of the carburetor. I have obviously top. This top is all being cleaned up. Everything is spotlessly clean. I don't know how well you can see in there. But it's all gone very, very well. Still a bit of dirt on there, but overall, very happy with how this has come out. Time now to start reassembling this. 
See you later. <clears throat> the back section done. I don't know what's happening with regards to this, whether this is getting fitted back on, whether they're gonna go for a aftermarket air filter. If the standard one's getting used, uh, which was taken off, then this is gonna go back on, mounted to the back panel. Um, top of your flip balls done as well. Inside the flip balls really clean. So yeah, time now to basically do the opposite of the strip down and put it back together. Okay, so the carburetor is now rebuilt. Look at that. The jet is moving there nice and freely, and uh, everything is moving wonderfully. So the throttle's working, the choke is working, and when you push it down, everything is moving exactly as it should. So it's moving down, moving back up. Uh, this obviously needs to be set up. Your brass nut will adjust your fuel mixture, obviously richer or leaner. Um, and I had a little bit of a mix up. So this bar here always has to be vertically up. I had it a slight horizontal and the bar where the springs onto was fitted this side. So uh, I try to move the throttle. The throttle butterfly wouldn't close fully, um, causing that to become an issue. The other thing to pay attention to, which I hopefully can show you here, is inside the, the float, it lifts up and drops down as well. So obviously when the vacuum is going, your throttle's on, that float will lift up um, to adjust your fully accordingly. So, um, I need to just clean this face here off, which I don't know why that wasn't done previously, but that needs to be done. Uh, and then that's ready to be fitted to the car. Actually, bit of oil in there once it's done, and that's ready to be fitted to the car. So not bad really, a couple of new gaskets um, and a very, very good clean, a new jet at the bottom um, and we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to leave this video here because um, I'm not quite ready to fit this to the car. I have to change the fuel line because I messed up with a jack of the car up and actually pierced it. Uh, and I think that's maybe a piece of it. Um, so you can remake the fuel line going front to rear and then they can go on. The manifolds are all fitted up. Um, to run the line to the fuel pump, fuel pump to the carburetor, carburetor bolted on. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and other ones, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. I've got loads of great ideas going forward and um, hoping you can be there to join me in this journey um, as we progress. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button, comment down below. And as I say, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. Uh, that's it for me for today. I'll see you next time when we can hopefully get works progressing significantly on Miss Mini. See ya.